Hello everyone. In this video, I will try to explain an introductory part of project based learning and which is useful for mechanical engineering student. And in this video, I am try to list it some uh, project ideas on the base on project base. So as you know, uh, this is a new learning concept means student work based on uh, doing some project work and learn something new knowledge so course or we can say uh, basic content in this video that is introduction of project based learning and some terms used for project based learning so we shortly call PBL then some essential element for PBL work then role of students and role of instructor and lastly we will see some mechanical projects based on project based learning to so start with some uh, introductory terms about project based learning so sometimes uh, project based learning also called as a problem based learning so there are uh, a number of terms having similar similarity in project based and problem based uh, basically a uh, common thing that uh, it's a student centered uh, learning and a student will uh, solve a particular problem by gaining some knowledge okay and uh, uh, it complete the activity so first uh, term that is a uh, project based learning is a teaching method in which student gain knowledge and skill by working for an extended period of time to investigate and respond to an ex uh, engaging and complex question problem or challenge challenges so basic uh, ideology behind the pbl that is uh, student uh, work with group solve some uh, questions or problems or ch challenges and find out some uh, useful uh, information by doing some project work so student organize their own work and manage their own time in a project based classes and the core idea of project based learning is that the real world problems capture student interested and provoke serious thinking so that the student acquire and apply new knowledge in a problem solving content so from this activity we can uh, acquire some uh, good knowledge by solving a real world uh, complex problems uh, some essential elements required for pbl uh, as a student point of view so some key knowledge understanding and success skill okay so the student have some uh, knowledge by uh, or some understanding level okay this project is uh, focus uh, should be a uh, student learning goals and including standard based content and skills such as critical thinking or problem solving and collaboration and self management so similarly uh, some other elements are also essential for uh, project based learning so uh, selection of uh, proper challenging problems or questions then uh, sustained inquiry that is the uh, student engage in various rigorous extended process of asking question okay and find resources and applying information okay. then uh, authenticity also essential then student voice and choice for a particular problem and include how they work and what they create then a uh, reflection between student and teachers on learning then um the quality of student work then obstacle and how to overcome them then uh, then critic and review so student give uh, review and use feedback to improve their process and product and lastly 
a public product that is student make their project work public and explaining then displaying or representing to people beyond the classroom so basic uh, uh, stages that uh, student choose a particular uh, problem based uh, based on their uh, available knowledge and try to solve and uh, explore to uh, behind the classroom okay then in this activity uh, there is some role of student as well as some role of instructor also so i am going to read this uh, role of students so first role to determine their project encourage to take full responsibility for their learning then this make pbl to constructive learning method then student work together use technology to communicate actively with teacher and peers others the student is make choice on obtaining displaying or manipulating the information every student has the opportunity to get involved either individual or as a group student role is to ask question build knowledge and determine a real world solution to the issue question problems to represent it student must collaborate to expand their skill and engage in focus communication think relation to solve problem and pbl for student to take ownership to their success so ultimate objective to to solve a real world complex problem then role of instructor so instructor or tutor or uh, sometimes you can call a mentor so it acts as as only facilitator it provide a facility which is available uh, in organization then they develop an atmosphere of shared responsibility while having the overall control of learning regulate student success with intermediate translation uh, transitional goals to ensure student projects remain focused and student have to deep understanding of the concept being investigated and next the student are accountable sorry accountable accountable to the goal through feedback and assessment and miss instructor indirectly uh, give supports to their students for uh, uh, for we can say to solve their uh, problem in this activity then next the ongoing assessment and feedback to ensure the students stay within the scope of the question and the core standard the project and last you let the fi uh, finish product and learning that it demonstrate so in short the instructor as a act as a facilitator and guide to project work uh, i have some uh, listed uh, project based learning uh, project based on mechanical engineering domain so there are lot of topics available so first Uh, that is uh, recently we know that uh, most of people affected uh, due to corona so uh, first we consider as corona related topics so just um, uh, define a problem and how and um, try to uh, tap out that problem to how to solve that okay so first identify the uh, problem definition Uh, when you consider any particular topic just you uh, go through that then try to uh, find out the actual problem in that uh, area and make to solve by using your basic knowledge available with us okay so um, related with corona some preventive measures against corona that is uh, we need uh, frequently hand washing then maintaining physical distance from others especially from those with symptoms and quarantine then covering cough and keep unwash hand away from the face so these are uh, problem there are lot of a number of problems with uh, correlated with corona but we try to um, summarize some basic uh, problems and i have uh, some uh, recommended 
uh, project to solve that problem so food operated simple stand sanitizer uh, stand machine you can say then sanitization disinfection gate or sanitation booth then foot operated water tap mechanism then op manual mechanical operated ventilators then sanitizer machine then a sanitizer spray pump okay then mask with helmets okay so there are a number of uh, uh, projects we can do by solving such type of problems uh, second area we consider as a agriculture so sometimes uh, uh, there is a, a problem existing or sometimes we work for to improve uh, uh, efficiency or to improve uh, performance or we can work for proper utilization of resources so in agriculture increasing agricultural productivity remain a central concern for developing countries okay so we can work in for developing our countries also so some recommended project that is uh, seed driller then sugar cane bud chippers cutter then wood makers work um, wood working machines water pumping system solar si operated sprayer vegetable cutters then river cleaning machines stand collecting and sand uh ligner vehicle so these are some uh, examples only you can uh, decide number of things to solve some agricultural problems also next uh, uh, project related with uh, renewable energy okay so there is a ambient of wasted heat energy source all around us such as from an automobile exhaust hot water tap and industrialization instead of overlooking this energy why don't we convert into something useful means uh, waste energy you can use or we can convert some useful work so uh, we can uh, solve uh, energy problems so recommended project we can build a windmill windmill then solar operated tricycles then uh, power generation then water pumping system then biogas systems power generation by gym pool solar okay so a uh, number of project you will find on net as well as uh, on some case studies also and a lot of topics available based on mechanical such as thermal engineering related automobile hydraulic and pneumatic machine tool manufacturing design and fabrication measurement quality control okay and so on and so on means you just go through this is just uh, introductory part of pbl and some introductory topics for find how to find uh, problems or uh, we define some areas uh, based on our mechanical domain okay and lastly we have summarized so in this particular uh, videos or we can say session i am try to explain introduction of pbl that is project based learning some essential elements required for pbl role of instructor role of students and some area or topic for mechanical project on pbl okay thank you